All right, so today servicing this Ford Focus, uh, one litre EcoBoost. Uh, some oil, air filter, oil filter, um, cabin filter, service side, and then I'm putting some new discs on the front and pads. Not sure if I'm going to record the discs and pads yet, but yeah. Start off with uh, doing the um, air filter and then we'll jack the car up, do the oil, sort that out. It's got a problem with the coolant as well, it doesn't seem to be going into the engine so that's good. But there must be a leak but I'll have to try and find that when I do the oil. But yeah I'll just uh, get on with this air filter. I just got to start by taking out these seven mils. There's four of them. One there. Two. Three. Four. Try this. Losing any screws. There we go. Put you down there a sec. Changed this last time, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, definitely a little dirty though. Right, let's get that new one sorted out. Oh, yeah, wash one. Looks a little bigger actually. Should be alright. That was a man filter. mess about with this and make sure these line up because it'll be a little tricky. One sec. There we go. Just make sure it's a little tab at the bottom there. Just make sure that's on the side of it. It's nice and secure. Put this back on. Just over the lip. In quickly. There we go, that's it all seated in. Just screw it all down. Happy days. It's all seated properly. Right, so uh, I'm just gonna quickly jack the car off. Put some axles down on it. And uh, get on with the oil. Just uh, take this out. Alright, sweet. Just quickly jack the car up. Alright, so I've decided to do the cam filter first because get the uh, easiest stuff out of the way. So basically you just go onto the passenger side, take these little cap things off, pull this down, get it out of the way. And then you see up there, we've got this little thing here, so move that out of the way. Uh, yeah, and you just want to push these tabs in, these two, and it pulls out. Try and move this cable out of the way. I think sometimes it's meant to be a screw at the bottom of this one. Doesn't seem to have one there. Move these out of the way. Oh, it's a bit tricky this. And you 
just want to pull this out. Try to tuck that under it. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty dirty, that one. This one's just a normal white one, so... Yeah, it's quite black. At the bottom, airflow into the vehicle, so airflow is going this way. So we put this one in. See on the bottom, it says airflow. So to go in like that. Airflow hose. It's quite heavy and thick, this one, so hopefully I can maneuver it about a bit. Basically, you just want to push it in. Push it back up into there. I'll have to do that without recording. But uh, yeah, push that back in. Push this cap back on. And uh, should be good to go. Right, got that one in. Um, nope, the top isn't in. But it was actually pretty straightforward to us, which I've had uh, multiples of other ones before. That's that one on. I just want to pick this cover up. get it into position and then push it right in and uh, it should close up quite nicely. Wait for a satisfying click. How can I do this? Alright, so that's that all pushed back on. It's on. This little cover thing. way put it up here There we go. So that's sorted. So now I'm gonna jack the car up and do the oil service. Right, so I've jacked the car up. Got the wheels off because I've been doing the brakes. It's all jacked up. Now take the under tray off. Need a T30 Torx. And there is three bolts at the front. That one, that one, that one. And then you got one either side of here and the other side. And then you got three at the back. So you got eight bolts to take out. Take the end of tree off. T30 talks, but. Alright, so I've took the end of tree off. And. There's a sump, there's a 30 mil bolt, so I'm just going to tighten that, let all the uh, oil drain, and then um, we'll change the oil filter and uh, refill it back up with oil. Alright, so I'm just letting that drain out, um, and that's drained put this back in and then um, take the oil filter out. Right, so it's finished um, draining and if you just look up the back there, there's the oil filter. So I'm just going to unscrew that, put the new one on, um, put this bolt in first, so don't drip all off me while I'm doing it. That little clean up and then take the old filler off, put the new one back on. Alright then. Alright, so change the old oil filler, put the new one on. Sump plugs back in, no oil filter. Good days, just filled up with oil, just check in, make sure there's no leaks. Looks all right. So, 
so get the dipstick. Yeah, a little high, but it's fine. Run the engine, let it circulate, fill up the oil filter, and we'll check again. Probably need to add a bit more oil and see what happens. And if I'm using 5W20. Right then. Okay, All right, so I've just run the engine just for like 30 seconds a minute. And. Off. There we go. It's just above the bottom line, so add about those forces. There we go, just above the bottom line, so a couple more mil, hundred mils in it, and um, test it again. Let's see if it's all right. And then run it again for a little bit longer this time. Check there's no leaks. Uh, turn it off. Check it all again. Make sure everything's spawned. And good to go. Just adding a little more now. Should be about right. Right, we'll check this. See if that, see if that's better, and then uh, see what happens. Actually, I'll just see if I can do it now. It might. Yeah, the whole thing's just covered. All right, one sec. All right, that's all sorted now, guys. Um, dipsticks spot on. Right amount of oil. Uh, still need to mess about with the coolant, but it's all sorted. New air filter, new oil filter, new cabin filter. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna do the brakes next. All right, I'm just gonna start by taking the caliper off. Two bolts. It's a H7 X bit. One bolt there, one there. Got little cap covers that you just pull off. So I'm gonna take, start by uh, undoing both of them, and then taking this clip off. And then we'll take the caliper bracket off, get the disc off, and then uh, put it all back together. Take the guide pins out, just take this off, and just pull the caliper out. Get a screwdriver in there. Just pull this off and then put it up on the strut. Alright, these are 13 mil. One for them, just take them out. Alright, so took the caliper off, just put it up there on the strut. Took the bracket off. There's two 13 uh, mil bolts on the back there. Now we should be able to take this disc off. Just gives you any trouble, just smack the front of this with a hammer. There. Obviously. Yeah. Um, obviously replacing this doesn't really matter if you want to smack the back a little bit, but just be careful with it. I'm going to have to hit it a bit though, because it's seized on. Alright, got the disc off. I had to smack around the edge, because... As you can see it was welded on there. I'm just gonna um, wire brush all this off and then wire brush the copper bracket and then put some copper grease around it, put the new disc on. Alright, so I've wire brushed that and cleaned it off with some brake uh, cleaner. Got the new disc here now. What you want to do is just get your brake cleaner, spray this surface, do the same on the back, wipe it off with a bit of tissue, make sure you get it all off because it's got like oil on it, 
uh, to stop it rusting in like transport. So just make sure you do that. Then put some copper grease on here. Got this stuff. Um, just put it on there. Put your disc on. There we go. So put some copper grease on there. And all that does is just helps out the next guy when he comes to change the discs. It's not fucking. Doesn't stick to it. There we go. Now we'll put the caliper on. Alright, so I've put the new disc on, put the caliper bracket on, tighten down both bolts. Let's go take the caliper out and compress the caliper piston and then put the new pads on. Right, so that's compressed in now. I just took off the brake cap just to make sure. It makes it a little easier sometimes. Um, I've just got the guide pins now. I'm just cleaning them up. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on them. Got this stuff here. Basically, I just knock the drill on. Use a wire brush to do this. Better with a bit of sandpaper, but I don't have any on me, so. Just uh, clean them up a little bit and crease them, put them back in. All right, so I've put both the brake pads in. You compress, you push that uh, back one into the caliper piston before you put the, and then you just slit this one on the bracket and you just push it in. Tighten both them down. Uh, the guide pins, which also got uh, greased up. Now you just put this little pin back on. It's always a little tricky. I'll quickly do this and then, yeah, I'll be this side sorted. There we go, that's that side all sorted. Everything's tightened down to spec. Got new uh, pads on, new disc. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun to dream believe in strength now i'm the only one only one Right, that's uh, both the brakes done. Now you just want to check your reservoir. It's good. Put that back on. And you just want to get in, pump the brakes up. Sweet. Should need to start the car. Just check. Okay, push them back. Do it again. go sorted all right sweet <clears throat> hope you enjoyed and um learned something and uh yeah thanks for watching until i walk awake scream my mind i shout